What's up, Willowbrook? Today we're in Genesis 44, 14 through 34. In our passage today, there are a couple things that really stand out to me. The first thing is repentance. Now, if you look back at the life of Judah previously, uh, you'll remember that it was Judah's idea to sell his brother Joseph into slavery. Uh, Judah was more concerned about what he wanted than what his father wanted. But in our passage today, there seems to be a change, right? There seems to be this idea that God has uncovered the guilt of Judah and what him and his brothers have done. And this leads to repentance. This leads to a change of direction, a change of action in the life of Judah. And you can see now he's more concerned with what his father wants than, than Judah's concerned with what he wants or what's really good for Judah. So he says, hey, I am going to stand in the place of my brother Benjamin so that he can go back home to my father. And, and this leads to the second thing that stands out to me, and, and that is that what Judah does is really a foreshadowing of Jesus. I mean, think about it. Judah wants to do his father's will. Judah sees that his brother Benjamin has been accused of a crime, and, and Judah hasn't been accused of any crime, but says, hey, I'm going to stand in my, my brother's place as a substitution so that he can be with my father. Now, isn't that exactly what Jesus has done for us? Jesus saw that we were dead and, and we, were, we were slaves to our sin, and Jesus died on a cross and died a death that he wasn't deserving of. We were the ones that were guilty, not Jesus, but he, he took our place as our substitution. He took upon him our sins so that we could be reunited with the Father. What a beautiful picture of God's goodness and God's grace. When this video ends, just take a moment and thank God for sending his son, Jesus. Thank God for what Jesus has done, that he's given us life, he's given us hope, he's given us a future in him. God bless you.